Well, it is appalling the scenes that we're seeing uh, from Israel. Uh, Israel has been attacked by terrorists, has every right to defend itself, to get the hostages back and to protect its citizens. Hamas, it, by its actions, has set back the cause for peace that so many of us are desperate to see in the Middle East. And this has been a very sad few days for the people of Israel and for all those who want peace. Hussam Zomlot, uh, Palestinian ambassador to the United Kingdom, said this attack on Israel was coming their way, in his words. Set to appear alongside David Lammy at Labour conference later on, uh, potentially the next foreign secretary, should you win the election. Is that still the case? Look, I, uh, I'm very um, upset about those remarks. Um, Israel and the attacks on civilians, the festival goers, the children who are being taken hostage, it is completely unacceptable. And Kia, David, myself, the whole of the Labour Party stand by the people of Israel at this moment. But should David Lammy, who is potentially the next Foreign Secretary, be appearing on a stage with the Palestinian ambassador to the UK who says that those that perish no, in I, Israel... I, I don't uh, know. Let me just finish the question, I, if I may, Ms Reeves. Um, the Israel, sorry, okay. there's so many people were murdered, slaughtered in cold blood um, on Saturday morning. Um, this uh, Palestinian ambassador saying it was coming their way. Is it in any way appropriate that your would-be Foreign Secretary is sharing a stage with him? I don't know what David's schedule is for conference. I hadn't heard those remarks, uh, but they are totally unacceptable and we disagree with them entirely. Would you implore David not to share a stage with him? Look, I don't know what David's schedule uh, is. I don't know whether this man is at our conference, uh, but David has been very clear and unequivocal about Labour's support for Israel, for the people of Israel, their right to defend themselves, their right to protect civilians, the right to get hostages back. Uh, we have been uh, absolutely categorical about that. What about your own MP, Aspana Begum, pictured posing with Palestinian activists at your party conference um, on Saturday? Um, was that appropriate? I don't think that uh, uh, Labour could be any clearer about our support for the right of Israel to defend itself. You know, if Britain was attacked by terrorists, then everybody would agree that we had the right to defend ourselves against those terrorist attacks. And Israel is no different. Israel has absolutely the right to defend itself against these terrorist attacks, to bring the hostages home and to protect its citizens. And we stand by Israel as they attempt to do just that. I hear you, but two of your MPs, one of them a very senior MP, is standing four square with Palestinian activists. OK, that's just not the case. Uh, David Lammy has been absolutely categorical about Labour's support for Israel to defend itself. Keir Starmer um, has, as well yesterday, been categorical about Labour's support for Israel defending itself at this time of need, and we stand squarely uh, alongside Israel. Why is the economy safe in your hands? Well, I'll be setting out Labour's plans today to grow the economy, to make working people better off. But all of this is underpinned by a set of fiscal rules and the iron discipline with which I would enforce them. I'm under no illusions about the scale of the challenge that I would inherit if I had the privilege of becoming Chancellor of the Exchequer uh, next year. Uh, that's why uh, I have said that uh, we would get debt down as a share of our national economy. It's why I've said that we would uh, pay for all day-to-day -day spending through tax receipts, because it is only through that iron discipline that we will get Britain back on a firm footing. But we have to grow the economy. What we've seen these last 13 years is growth on its knees, taxes at the highest level for 70 years, and public services uh, on the floor. And we've got to turn this around. 
which is why in my conference speech today, I'll be setting out how we're going to reform the antiquated planning system to get investment here in Britain, to get infrastructure uh, investment going here in Britain. Over the last two and a half years, I've had the privilege of working with many businesses that have helped inform these plans because I see huge potential in our country. Uh, businesses and families with huge ambition for themselves, their businesses and their communities, but a government that doesn't match that scale of ambition. That has got to change if we're going to realise our true potential and get the growth, the prosperity and ultimately those improvements in living standards for working people. How are you going to do that, Ms Reeves, if there's no money? Well, this is about getting businesses to invest. And what businesses say to me all the time is that we've got money to invest, but we're either choosing not to, or even worse, we're choosing to invest elsewhere, in America, in Asia, and other European countries, because they have governments that want to work alongside businesses. They've got planning systems that actually allow shovels to get in the ground, cranes to get in the sky. Last week at the Conservative conference, they cancelled their flagship investment in high-speed rail. This year at our conference, we're going to be setting out our plans to get invest investment, to get that infrastructure built, because it is by doing that, by unleashing that private sector investment, that we can get that productivity growth and get that economic growth in all parts of our country that we need private to improve living standards, but also to get the money to invest in our public services. OK, and that private sector investment will stretch as far as HS2 being reinstated up to Manchester, will it? Well, you know, Kay, that I can't make that commitment. The government have blown a hole in the budget, um, £30 billion over budget, because they uh, lost a grip on it. And I know that the economic inheritance that a Labour government will face is going to be dire. And I'm not going to make any uncosted or unfunded spending commitments. But what I can promise is that I will reform how our planning system works to get that investment, private sector investment, in our energy infrastructure, in 5G infrastructure, in getting batteries built for electric vehicles. We've got so much potential as a country, but we're being held back by 13 years of chaos and uncertainty from the Conservatives and by a planning system that mitigates against building when we need to see that investment to boost our productivity and get our economy moving again. Busy day for you. I think your speech is about midday, if I'm not mistaken, Ms Reeves. Um, That's thank right, you for taking. Thank you. That's great. Of course, we'll be covering it live here on Sky News. Thanks for taking the time to join us this morning. Thank you.